Hi, Glen Forest. So this video is specifically for third graders because this past week I visited you guys and told you guys how to access all your art resources. So for this following week, the week of May uh, 3rd, I'm gonna want you guys to start using the poetry that you've been writing in your classes and make them into art. How are we gonna do that? I don't know, but I guess that's my job to show you how. So for today, I'm gonna be showing you some um, poetry in this book that is also illustrated, meaning the author is also the artist in that book. So she drew little pictures with them. And I'm also gonna show you your art activity so that you can do that with your poetry that you wrote. All right, friends, I'm gonna be showing you this poetry book that I have around my house. And we're gonna be looking at some of the poetry and the artwork that follows through. So if I look at this one, this one says, my mother sacrificed her dreams so I could dream. So what did the artist do? She drew a picture of her mom, okay? It can be very simple. This type of art is called a line drawing. We can also try that um, out when you are drawing. It's very simple. This one is pretty cool. This one is called the middle place and it's a line drawing of a person in the middle of a bridge. A, the bridge is in the middle of somewhere, which is a place and they are standing right in the middle of the bridge. This one is pretty funny. This one is called A Man Who Cries, and it's just eyeballs with tears coming down, different squiggly lines. And again, these are called line drawings. They are different than the art that we normally do at school, but it could be a fun way to do um, your art for your poetry. And now I'm gonna show you one last one, and it's called Together We Are an Endless Conversation. And what is it? It's a, a music player, a really old music player with a speaker, and you can see the sound coming out of it. All right, friends, so now you are going to find a piece of paper because this is your art challenge. You are gonna write down a part or your entire poem that you wrote during your classes when you guys were learning about poetry. You're gonna write it down on a piece of paper. After you write it on the piece of paper, this is the poem that I wrote. It's, uh, it says, I miss school, where the kids think I'm cool, can't wait to go back and use my backpack. So now the next step is gonna to be to start thinking about how, what are my favorite parts of my poem and where or how I want to draw on my book, on my page. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm gonna start thinking about what are the choices, what are the words on here that I've made that I really like? And I'm gonna say school could be a chance, an opportunity, I could draw Glen Forest here. Um, where the kids think I'm cool. Maybe I'll draw a self-portrait of myself here wearing glasses. Um, and then the last one is backpack. Maybe I'll draw a picture of myself from head to, sh to the bottom of my shoe and then my backpack in the on, on. So those are some different options that I can do for this project. But the best way to do it is to start drawing in pencil and then going in pen. All right, so now that I've drawn Glen Forest, I went off looking, a pic looking at a picture I'm gonna draw myself somewhere over here, maybe wearing a backpack. Deckard. Excuse me, Deckard. Deckard, can you move? I'm in the middle of drawing. As I finished drawing myself on top of the school, and now the next step is from pencil to pen. All right, friends, and now I finished outlining my drawing. So now I have my full completed artwork. The next step is gonna to be to erase the pencil and then to start coloring, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy your art challenge for the week. Please turn it into your Google Classroom. I will have your link available for you um, Monday afternoon. Uh, and you can turn it in whenever you want. I just really wanna see pictures of it, it doesn't matter. Um, how you show it to me, you can email it to me, you can turn it in in classroom, anything is good. I just really want to see what you're working on. See you next time.